if you feel that you are getting drafts through your sash windows, the best way to prevent that is to um, put secondary double glazing which is fixed to the inside of the house. That will form an air gap which stops the cold air from coming in and prevents the warm air from escaping and you're doing that with um, a sheet of perspex or glass which can then be removed in the summer once the weather improves. Also if you, you can use um, thermal, cur thermally lined curtains which obviously once they're closed again form a barrier which helps to keep warmth in and the cold out. I've put timber windows in but they are actually double glazed. It is more expensive than new PVC I must admit. I think it looks a lot better. You have to keep on top of the maintenance, that's the only thing. Sort of, you'll, have, you'll have to decorate every four or five years. So uh, as long as you keep on top of it, it's not so bad. The boxes were all intact. It, all, it, all, it, all I had to do was replace the up and down sashes. So that wasn't quite so expensive. If you'd have had to, have to put the sash with the boxes in as well, that would have been very expensive. But in this case, I've just replaced these sections. It's um, saving a lot on our, on our fuel bills anyway. Because initially they were just windows with the louvers at the top single glazed and there was a lot of drafts it was really really horrible and it cuts down on the noise as well with a fair bit of traffic along here as well. These particular windows have been in this house for well over a hundred years and as you can see that they're they, they still look really nice and attractive and that's because they have been well maintained they've been painted on a regular basis and they're, therefore they will still last another hundred years providing that water doesn't get into the wood which is what the paint does it forms a protective coating over the woodwork and then water can't damage the wood yes UPVC windows and aluminium windows are a quick fix solution but actually they really do only last about 25 years whereas this particular house has been built over 100 years so these windows are 100 odd years old and they're still in really good condition and for minor repairs you could just uh, use a filler or replace parts sometimes this piece of wood would need replacing but on the whole you're much better off maintaining your wooden windows rather than replacing them which actually within Wolverton you wouldn't be allowed to do anyway because it's a conservation area and so the windows have to be traditional.